welcome back to Outlaws Wrestling, and welcome back to another action-packed episode of Outlaws Wrestling Takedown. And, um, I'm very excited for this episode, it is going to be great. And, um, we have more qualifying matches. And, um, yeah, welcome back to Takedown, and here we go. The first match is going to be Seth Rollins, 101 against Buddy Murphy, for a qualifying spot on the Outlaws Wrestling Takedown side of things at, uh, Worlds Collide. And, um, I'm very excited for this one. And this, this, whoever wins this will be the first person in the, um, on, on takedown side of things. But, um, yeah, let's get to the actual match. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. And there is Seth Rollins. And our buddy Murphy from behind with a big kick. Both men on the ground, one on the canvas, so. Buddy definitely had a softer landing of the two, and that one was definitely not soft at all whatsoever. And what is Seth thinking here? And off the ropes, and what's it gone? Oh my god! Let's get a replay of that! Jesus, he just commits murder on the skull of Bertie Murphy! What kind of crap is that? And now, oh my god, he's got him in the submission, but Buddy wasn't just back one! Two! No, Seth, let's go, because he did not want to get pinned. And both men going to their respective corners for some reason. But, buddy, from behind with a big shotgun drop kick to the back of Seth Rollins. And now what is he thinking up there? Suplex! Oh, my God! That can end it. That can end it. We're going to get a replay from a different angle. This is a really good angle that we never get to see. And that suplex off the top rope, that could end it. Oh, we're going for a draping DDT! Oh, God. And I think this might be him pulling him up by the hair. And what's he doing? Oh, a shot and another. Those right hands to the skull of Seth Rollins. Oh, God. Jesus. Oh, God. And now what's he doing? He's just standing on his shoulders. That's all the shoulders. No! Oh! He just stopped his skull into the ground. One, two, three. And finally, it's over, and Buddy Murphy is victorious here. Let's just get, a, get, let's get a replay of that skull stop. It didn't look very, it didn't look like it was a high impact, but that was his entire body weight dropping on the skull of Seth Rollins. And a Buddy Murphy is victorious here. But next up is another qualifier, and that is Ryback going one on one against Cesaro. These two we have not seen in quite a while, and it will be very, um, very nice to see these two. And, uh,. Ryback might look like the stronger of the two, but um, I am not lying when I say this. Cesaro might be able to win this because he is actually probably the stronger of the two, even though he doesn't look it. But um, I'm very excited for this, and here we go. And Cesaro just standing there waiting for the match to begin. And oh, going for a spear, but he catches him. He's got him in a headlock, and he's got him up, and he goes back down. Oh, my God. God, Cesaro definitely taking it, taking the fight to Ryback, and now he got him up and down again. Like I said, the strength of Cesaro definitely on display here, and he's got him up right back on one foot, and now what is he thinking here? What is happening? Oh my God, and just drawing him one, two, oh, kick out. He just drove his head into the ground, and now what is he thinking here? Got him up and taking him back down. That is literally all he's been doing. And now here we go. One, two, three. And Cesaro taking it to an end. And um, this cameraman's making me nauseous again. Blech. But up next is the Over It Show. Um, yeah, with Dolph Ziggler. But um, it's official, ladies and gentlemen. OLW Worlds Clyde. Outlaws Wrestling Live versus Takedown. And that will be the next pay-per-view. And it's going to be very, very, um, very good. The Outstressing Takedown Champion will go against the Outstressing Live Champion, World Champion, I mean. And then the Intercontinental Champion will go against the U.S. Champion. And then the Tag Team Champions will go against the other Tag Team Champions. And then there will be a 5-on-5 five five match. 5 from Outstressing Live, 5 from Takedown. And I'm very excited for this. And here is the OVA It Show, the first episode of it, with Dolph Ziggler. I wonder what he uh, has to say here. Okay, I, I guess. And now, do 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 do. I'll give him a drum roll.
and Finn Balor. Actually, I forgot this is the second episode. The first episode was the debut of Roger Cross, now Roger Strong. But here's Finn Balor. You see that spray painted championship by uh, May, this uh, Alice Wrestling Live spray painted. The people from Alice Wrestling Live. And um, he does not look very happy about that. If you remember on Takedown, I mean on Live, uh, they were reading because they did this. So he says they have to make a new one and I guess it's under that under that um huge paper not paper but it looks kinda like paper, it's a sheet. But um we can't see it still can't see Holy crap that looks like it weighs a hundred pounds. Oh my god. Jesus, that thing is beautiful. And Finn Balor Oh no, looks like they're gonna be attacked by Bullet Club, we've seen this so many times. We've seen Bullet Club attack Keith Lee. But are they- Dolph Ziggler's down. And Finn Balor! Has he joined the Bullet Club? Has he joined the Bullet Club? Oh my god, I think he has! You can only imagine how strong this stable's gonna be now! Whenever Finn Balor's in it! There's- Oh! But it looks like the Undisputed Era is here and they're raiding takedown! Oh my god! And Bobby Fish has one of the cameras that he's holding it. This- This man is definitely not a cameraman. But the Undisputed Era taking the destruction to Bullet Club. And you can see the another camera is showing the camera. That's confusing. But, um, I do not... Oh my god, I don't blame it. And tell him take down they asked for it. And I don't... I can't tell what's happening now. And he just set the camera down. I know that. But, um... Wow, it looks like the Undisputed Era is here on takedown and... There a message clearly sent to the Bullet Club and all everyone in the backstage area. But remember, ladies and gentlemen, it's official. Um, this is going to be huge. It's going to be absolutely huge. And um, yeah, I'm very excited for it to happen. And um, I will be doing commentary there. And uh, maybe we can have a uh, maybe we can have more than one person on commentary. But uh, I don't know. And then a qualifier after this. Very actually, literally right now. What's next? Um. Crap, what's his name? Oh, God. We haven't seen these two very much, so it's hard to remember their names. Drew McIntyre going one-on-one -on -one against Xavier Woods in a qualifying match. And I, I think Drew McIntyre definitely has a strength and size advantage, but the speed advantage is definitely going to Xavier Woods. And speaking of Xavier Woods, here he is, the man that hopes to overcome all of the odds and beat Drew McIntyre. Um, otherwise known as Drew Mac and Cheese. Because, um, Mac and Cheese. Anyway, um, and here he is, Drew McIntyre. Um, just needs to wait, used to wait for, like, the music to go. He has to, like, make it, like, you know, um, not, not fancy, but, like, you gotta, like, be, he's waiting for y'all to get excited. I don't know, I don't know why he does this. Like, you don't have to, you don't have, you don't have to wait 24 seconds to come out or something. Is it actually 24? It might be, I don't know. But here's Drew McIntyre. A huge threat here. He was in the six-man or five-man or four-man, I don't remember, match for the World Championship. Um, not very many episodes ago, but that was, like, one of his first matches. But, um, yeah, he, um, he was handed by Seth Rollins for that match. But, um, he is here, and he is trying to, um, be one of the members in the, uh, on the Elsa St. Takedown's side of things. And, oh, Xavier, he knows that he can't win this very easily, so he's starting to fight off early. But he just gets dropped on his spine. I think he was going for a DDT, but just gets dropped on his spine and a Claymore. I don't know if that was a Claymore, I think it was more of a big boot. But, um, God, that boot is definitely huge. Not as big as Hangman's, though. Because Hangman is like, like triple that. Because I don't know why his feet are so big. But, um, yeah. Anyway, Xavier getting up and McIntyre calling for it. Telling him to get up. And, um, we're waiting him to get up, I guess. And he's up. He ducks the Claymore. He ducks the Claymore. Oh, my God. And I'll just Oh, my God. Glasgow kiss. Oh, my God. Swiping the hair back, and I think he might be knocked out. He might be concussed or something. I do not know. And just staring at the camera, and just putting his hand in it. I don't know why he's putting his hand on the camera lens. But um, oh, and those knees to the face of Xavier Woods. And now what is he setting up for? 
I saw a clay bar! And there it is. And now... He's trying to pick him up by the face. I think he's knocked out. He's not moving. He, yeah, he's definitely not moving. We're gonna need some medics. We, we, yeah, luckily we called him some medics. And, um... Yeah, he's knocked out. Oh, my God. Drew McIntyre, Drew Mac and Cheese, whatever you want to call him, has won, and those are the three members who will be in, um... World Squad, three out of the five members. The other two will be decided on the next episode of Takedown. But, um, it's official. It's a beneficial, and this is the main event, ladies and gentlemen. What are they looking? Oh my god, those are all from Alistair Singh Live! They're all from Live, and they're taking down! They're taking down Orton and Gargano, the numbers game! The numbers advantage, definitely! Going towards the side of Alistair Singh Live, and there's Hornswoggle with the Intercontinental Championship for some reason. He actually, surprisingly, he held a championship before CM Punk. He was the United States Champion. I don't know how that happened. I really don't. But ladies and gentlemen, have a nice day. See you guys on the next episode of Takedown or Live, whatever it is. Have a good day. See you guys on the next video. Peace.